All right then, my friends. So now I'd like to address the layout of these cards right here because currently they look absolutely ridiculous sitting one on top of the other. So I'd like to make it so that on medium sized screens and up, they all sit side by side and not stacked one on top of the other. Now to do this, we're gonna be using CSS Grid, which is built right into Tailwind. And all we have to do is use some of the grid classes that it gives us. Now, CSS Grid is a relatively new addition to the CSS spec, and it allows us to easily lay content out onto some kind of imaginary grid in the browser, in columns and rows, much like the original Bootstrap Grid system, only this time it's vanilla CSS. Now, you should already have a basic understanding of how to use CSS Grid before you attempt to watch this video. Otherwise, these grid classes are not gonna make much sense. Now, I've got a whole CSS Grid series right here on this YouTube channel. The link is going to be right down below. So then, to use CSS Grid, the first thing we need is a grid container to surround all of these. So, let's go to where the cards are over in the index.html file. And up here, this is the container that surrounds all of the cards, right? So this needs to be a grid container. Now, to make something a grid container in Tailwind, we just give it a class of grid, like so. And that's it. Now, we also need to specify how many columns this grid is going to have. Well, in our case, I want it to be three columns because we're going to have three cards in a row. One, two, three. So we specify the number of columns by saying grid hyphen calls and then hyphen however many columns we want this grid container to be so it can be anything from one all the way up to 12 so i'm going to make it three because we're going to have three items in it so if i save this right now and preview you're going to notice that already we have a simple grid made really easily and now each one of these items automatically gets assigned to a grid column so one two three now, it would be nice to have a bit of a gap in between each one, and we can add a grid gap by using a class gap hyphen then the strength of the gap. Now, I'm going to go for 10 and save it and see what that looks like, and that looks a bit better. Awesome. Now then, this is fine, but on small screens, I don't want them to be next to each other. I want them to be on top of each other because that looks a bit daft or squashed up. So what I'd like to say is that maybe the grid these columns should only apply for large screens and up. So we've already seen responsive classes. We can do that by saying the responsive size, so large, then colon, and then whatever class we want to apply to that media query. So now we're saying for only large screens and up, then apply a grid calls three class. So for smaller screens, then they should still stack on top of each other. That looks better, right? And then when we get over here, it goes next to each other. Awesome. So that's that pretty much done. And that's how simple it was to use CSS Grid. Now, I also want to apply CSS Grid to the overall layout of this page. Right now, we have this nav at the top sitting at the top on top of the main content. So the stacked one on top of the other. So that's this, the main underneath, and also this div right here. Now, I like them to sit next to each other instead. So I'm going to use grid to control that. And what I'd like is that this nav sits on the left and then this sits on the right. So I want this to be small on the left, maybe one column in width, and this to be on the right, two columns in width. So again, we're going to have three columns spanning across the page. So let's do the same thing up here. Let's go to this div, which surrounds all of the content. That is going to be the grid container. And we need to give this a class. So class is equal to grid. And then grid hyphen calls is going to be three. Okay. Now we don't need a gap on this because I want the nav on the left to be flush against the main content. Let's just save it and see what this looks like. Okay. Well, they sit next to each other. This is the right width. However, this right here is only taking up half of the rest of the space. Now, that's because automatically we're saying right here we want three columns, but we only have two elements inside it, this div and then this main. So what's happening is this is getting dumped in the first column and this is getting dumped in the second column. And then at the end, we have one third column, which is not containing anything at all. 
So we need to override this default behavior to specify that yes, this should take up one column, but this one right here should span two columns. So how do we tell something that we want it to span a certain width of columns or number of columns? Well, we can say, if we go to the first one, this div right here, give it a class, we want this to col hyphen span, how many columns? One. So that's gonna span one column. Now that's not gonna change anything at the minute because it was already spanning one column. But we can now do the same thing for this one, but tell it to span two columns. So if I go down to the main over here, I can say col hyphen span, and it's gonna be two columns. So we have the one on the left and the two on the right. And now it takes up all the available space over here. So that is looking a bit better. Now, again, I don't want this to apply for slightly smaller screens because now it's looking a bit squashed. When we get to smaller screens, then I want this to be on top. So let's say for very small and small, it's gonna be on top, but as soon as we get to medium sized screens, then I want it to take this approach. So all we need to do is place MD in front of this thing right here, and also MD in front of this. And if we scroll down, to the main, I'm gonna put MD in front of that now as well. So basically we're only applying these classes to these elements from medium sized screens and up. And below that, it's not gonna be displayed in this grid. Instead, it's gonna be displayed one on top of the other. So save that. And we should see on smaller screens like this, it's still one on top of the other. And we'll make this look better later on. And if we move this out, we can see now it's left to right. Awesome, so that's the kind of behavior that I wanted for this layout. And that was really simple to do using CSS Grid with Tailwind.